Hello, I am Burt Green and this is the Burt Locker. This is going to be a deep dive into the UFC 285 fight between Bo Nickel and Jamie Pickett because it's one that I am very, very interested in. So let's start off by taking a look at the tail of the tape. So you've got uh, Bo Nickel. He's, he is the shorter guy. He is giving up reach. But I don't think really the reach advantage is going to be massively useful for Pickett. You, you never know. Look, Bo, Bo Nickel for me, he's a middleweight Matt Hughes. That like only probably a little bit better because obviously the sport has moved on. But in essence, that's what his style is. His style is elite wrestling with submissions. It's not like he's because he's not a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He is a blue belt, which isn't like you know the, the it's it's good. It's good enough. That's the thing. Like. With his elite wrestling, that blue belt is as dangerous as, as a black belt in some respects because his wrestling is just such a high level that his, his ground transitions, honestly, there's something to behold. If you've not seen him before, go back and watch his Dana White Contender Series fights. What impressed me more than anything was how fast he was able to move in top position on the ground from north-south to side control to, to top mount to, to mount. It's, it literally, he's... Going through those transitions so quickly, it's difficult to keep up. And his opponents can't keep up. He goes through people's guards like a hot knife through butter. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, for me, that's going to be the key for, for Bo Nickel here. Now, Pickett, on the other hand, look, he does present dangers. He's a perfectly competent fighter. He is competent. I wouldn't say he's outstanding. And that's that sounds disrespectful, but I'm just, I've been looking through his record. I just don't see much that presents too many dangers to Bo Nickel. Watch Bo Nickel get knocked out now. Look, Bo, look, Pickett, he's got knockout power. He's got eight knockouts on his record. And he can do that. He, do, he doesn't tend to grav gravitate towards the grappling. Unfortunately, that is where Bo Nickel is going to take this fight. It, that's where it's going. Like, it's no secret. Bo Nickel is shooting him for a power double leg. And it's up to you to try and stop it. And so far, I mean, he's only 2-0, let's be fair. So I might have bought my ticket to the hype train too soon. I'm, I'm already sitting on the train for Bo Nickel. I'm, the train has left the station. I am on board. But, you know, it's, if you stop his wrestling, it's going to be interesting to see how good he is on the feet because we haven't really seen that much of it. I think he's good enough on the feet. But for me... What I see happening is Bo Nickel having a relatively easy time. Pickett is tough and he is dangerous on the feet, but I just don't see it staying standing. I don't see any way that Pickett can stop the takedowns of Bo Nickel. I just don't see it happening. Bo's likely going to transition to side control. He's then going to get to mount. And from there, he's going to either attack the head and arm or he's going to wait until Pickett gives up his back and get the rear naked choke. That's what I'm going to be betting on. I'm going to bet on those specific submissions. Rear naked choke, head and arm choke. Those two. And I I don't see too many surprises happening in this one. But if Jamie Pickett wins, I will be I will be very surprised. But hey, look, best of luck to both of them. Jamie Pickett is the biggest underdog on the card. He's seven to one on Skybet right now. That is crazy. That is crazy. I I don't think that betting line is necessarily fair, but I don't necessarily think that Jamie Pickett's going to win either. So because he's he's up against it, Bo Nichols, bloody good. And I think we're I think we're going to see a lot of him in the next couple of years. So let's see how this one goes. Anyway, I'm I'm interested to see it. It's a fight I'm really looking forward to. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the fight, and uh, we'll see if my predictions on the specific submissions actually come anywhere close or not. Probably not. But yeah. Anyways, until next time, keep those odds on, keep the bets terrible. Also, hit subscribe. Don't think, subscribe.